This is the Dolphin Emulator, allowing you to play Nintendo GameCube and Nintendo Wii games on your PC. Today, we're going to be starting our journey into learning how to use powerful emulation to play your classic Mario games on Nintendo GameCube and Nintendo Wii. As you can see, I have Mario Kart Double Dash running. So today we're going to be learning how to use and learning the use interface. First, we're going to need the emulator. Today I have for you guys the Dolphin emulator website. And I will be linking everything you were going to see in the description below. So, on the Dolphin emulation website, all you have to do is download a particular build, the current big build, the big build, Dolphin 5.5, 5.0, and it was released seven years ago. Download for Windows, or if you have a Macintosh, how to do that. It is also available on Linux, although you have to do a little bit of extra steps. I am going to be tutorial based on Windows and Mac. Then you're going to need a file extractor. The file extractor of choice for today is 7 zip. I will also link you guys to this in the description below. Keep in mind you will need a file extractor so that you can extract uh, the files. And you're also going to need a game or what they call a ROM or read only memory. And today's site of choice is bims.net and we will go over how to install how to do a game as well that's first now that you have downloaded your dolphin emulator and you've extracted it with 7 zip let's go ahead and learn about the user interface this is your user interface ladies and gentlemen allowing you to learn about what the Dolphin Emulator can do. As you can see, I have a bunch of games, but obviously when you first download it, you don't have a game yet. We will get to that in a moment. First, let's take a look at what we have here. Under, when we get to Dolphin, you're gonna see all this stuff. File, emulation, movie, options, tools, view, and help. Below that, you're going to see the following. Open, refresh, play, stop, full screen, shot, configuration, graphics, and controllers. We're going to go in depth on this in future tutorial. This is how you get started. Now, to start by playing a game in particular, let's first go over how to configure a file path. Because you're going to need to learn where to get your games. Here's a sample of the graphics window that it wants to come up, of course. And of course, Dolphin crashes on me because it's like me today. Anyway, here is the configuration window under config or settings. Just in order to figure out where you want to put your game. So go to config and you're going to see this. Under path, you have this following settings. General, interface, audio, path, GameCube, be advanced. To settle a path for your game, go to the path section and you're going to see the following. Now keep in mind, I already have games on this computer. But when you first, when you first do this, you're not going to have a path. What you want to do is you want to press add. Then on your desktop or wherever you want to put for your games, you want to make sure you have a new folder. And let's call this for the sake of this example Dolphin GMU Games. Press enter and you rename it. 
and then press select select folder. Now you can add as many paths as you want because of the Wii games component. If you want a folder for Nintendo GameCube, and you want a folder for for the Nintendo Wii. Now when it says search subfolders, any folders that you have that you can that you have in terms of that folder, the parent folder, you can also search there if you like. But that's up to you. Keep in mind that you're gonna have these particular files. Do not touch them because this is based on the when you get them get the emulator. Now that you have settled that, let's go ahead and get a game. For today's example, let's go ahead and pick up a game, Mario Golf Toto Tour, one of my favorite games when it comes to Mario Golf, believe it or not. So that's where Vim.net comes into play. So let's go to Vim.net, V-I-M-M.net. And you're going to see this website. Go to go if you have not downloaded the emulator, you can also do so by emulation of layers. And they have a lot of emulators from GameCube to Xbox, the original Xbox, Game Boy Color, even, and all that good stuff. We will go over more emulators in this chat on this channel as well. But for today, we're just going to be focusing on for this series I should say we focusing on the GameCube for today. Which is this puppy right here. Keep in mind that if they have it up they have updated the Dolphin emulator. You can also check out that they have updated this thing May 11, 2023. Go ahead and download that if you would like from Vim.net. Now we're gonna go into the vault. And we're going to search up Nintendo GameCube, which is going to be on the console side, which is GameCube here. We're going to search for a game, and today's game is Mario Golf. Coach to Tour. Now, keep in mind, there are four versions, because this game came out in different countries. So the one you're looking for for today is the American version, which is this one right here. Now keep in mind that if you download a different version, you have a different game. For today, Mario Golf Toto Tour on the US. And there's another game called Family Tour, but that's only Japan. That is the one you want right here. When you get to this particular screen, you're gonna see the game note that the game note about the game. Everybody knows about Mario Golf. You're gonna see also this format. Number choice of two. Most of the time it's dot n k i t dot s i o. When you uh, when you have finished with your information, download the game there. Now keep in mind it will take at least. 10 minutes to download a game and most of the time it's because a lot of people are downloading a game or a game on Vim. I do want to caution however on Vim.net there is a limit of one download per time meaning that if you download for example Mario Golf Toto Tour and let's say that you also want to download Paper Mario they will not let you until the other download finishes. Keep that in mind when you are downloading a particular game like Mario Golf Dota Tour. While this downloads, so I can show you how to install. Let's go ahead and take a look at another game that I might play on other channels, like Paper Mario, for example. Keep in mind there is Paper Mario 1000 Year Door and Paper Mario RPG. If you search up Paper Mario for GameCube, and that is because on Japan, they call it Paper Mario RPG. As you can see here, it is exactly the same, but it's in Japanese. The one you want is this one. Okay. 
And we might be wondering, what is this logo here? This is the European version when it goes to this one. The American version right here. Okay, again, same thing. If you want to download Paper Mario, you can always do so. It is almost done downloading, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install your brand new game using 7-Zip today. And it's almost done with five seconds to go on the clock. All right. Now that it's now that it is done, go ahead and install our brand new software, our brand new game onto our computer here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. I am using Opera, by the way. So you're gonna see this. So what you wanna do? Is go if you have seven zip, go ahead and right click on the new thing got and go to seven zip, go to extract here in the download section. Now keep in mind that it's gonna create a dot and kit icon. Now let it do its thing when it's done doing its thing. We're going to go ahead and put our new game into the folder, into our new folder. Now that it's done, uh, let, I'm going to copy, I'm going to actually copy. I'm going to go to our brand new folder that we made, and that is our Dolphin Emily game. game. We're going to right click and paste our thing here then we're going to extract again file here assuming that it wants to crop co cooperate as today make sure that make sure that it actually cooperates okay because sometimes it doesn't want to and when it's done, we're going to go ahead and um, try it out. Make absolute sure that in that folder, in that area, that we also did a, you also included a path. So now let's go back to Dolphin Emulator. And let's go ahead and hit the refresh button. Okay. Now, I should have two Mario Golf Toad Tutor, and the reason why I have two is because I have I already have it on my other path. If it's not showing up for some reason, go back to configuration and make sure you're, you're on an other path. Make sure the path is correct. If not, you have to redo it. Okay? Make sure you guys understand that. Now you can also change up the GameCube um, section here. I would, however, keep it the same. I don't want you to touch this. We're going to go over what these do in future tutorials. But for this one, we're just focused on the path. Okay, now that's ready. Let's go ahead and run it. Now keep in mind that you want to always set up your controller. And I will show you how to do that in a future tutorial. But today, we're just going to go ahead and run our brand new software. By double clicking game icon right here. Nintendo. <laughs> and as you can see, Pamela. it is running. <laughs> now I do want to clarify some information. Fine. When you press pause. It will actually pause the actual emulation. When you press stop, it's going to tell you if you want to stop the current emulation. Press yes or no. F view full screen is this. You guys want that? To escape full screen, press the escape button and it will tell you if you want to 
with the current emulation, press no. And if you want to take a screenshot, you can, but that's just for fun stuff. As you can see also on the games here on the top bar, you're going to notice that we have Dolphin build number JIT64 Direct 3D12 HLE FPS 60 BPS 60 100% and then the name of the game. What do these mean? So this is your back end, your direct 3D12. We're going over back ends later. FPS is your frames per second. Very important because a lot of people want that 60 FPS magic. And the reason why is because it's 60 frames per second, bro. And a VPS is video, I believe is video for the video. And 60 is good 100%. So every time I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep playing this. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, it's moving. The game is moving. And right now, it's stuck. It is locked in at 60 frames per second at this moment. Now, I actually have a controller. Technically not a GameCube controller. I have programmed this with a with a PS4 controller to allow me to play GameCube games with my Nintendo with my PlayStation 4 controller. So I'm gonna also show you guys how to do that. Keep in mind I do not have a camera with the camera I have for recording somehow decided not to like me today. So that's why I do not have my camera as normal. As you can see, I have moving the camera the game. And I am playing the game right now and it's still stuck at 60 frames per second. Which is exactly what you want when you are talking about this type of type of game. So I'm just gonna play one one hole for you guys just to show you guys how the game how the game runs. We can play some stroke play. We're gonna go actually free hole. We can play on Lakitu Valley. Not only is my favorite course, but it's where my credit sequence song for the offenders comes from. If you guys follow my channel for the art now. That is the song that I, I use for um credit sequence. As you can see, I controlling the game, the PS4 controller. And right now, I'm gonna actually take a shot here. Keep in mind, I I'm not that bad at this game. So, if it, if it looks like I suck, I apologize. Okay, we're gonna take a quick shot here. Just to show you guys that it is still at 60 frames per second. Oh, if this goes in. If this goes in. Okay. I'm like, oh boy. Okay. That went in, by the way, that's an eagle. So, as you can see, that is how the Dolphin emulator works when it comes to the UI, how to install a game, and all that good stuff. The next thing we're going to run for our next tutorial is we're going to take a look at how to con use the controller. We're going to go over how to do this stuff. And we're going to program a PS4 controller to do our games for us today on our next tutorial. That is all for today's tutorial. I hope you guys learned something and I cannot wait to give you more. We'll see you guys in our next tutorial where we talk about controllers and a controller input to be more precise. See ya!